Alanesis. Hello and welcome to Alanesis. On this edition of Alanesis, we'll discuss the power of storage devices and give you a sense of perspective and the amazing capacity of these devices. We will show you a brief time scale and show you how memory has expanded and the sense of scale of change over the years. If you look here, I've created a text file and on this text file I've completely filled the entire document with text. Now the reason I've done that is because when you save a file on a computer even the spaces are encoded so we need to count the spaces but the software won't count it so what we do now is we open the tools and do a word count and here you can see there's 6,615 characters on this page so 6,616 and if you go to where the file is stored, I've stored it as a rich text document to get it as close as possible to the actual size There's, uh, to try and reduce the metadata and I've saved it as a rich te text document and it's 9 kilobytes so let's just say one A4 page with typical with typical margins is 9 kilobytes when it's filled with text just to get some perspective. This is a five and a quarter inch floppy disk from the 70s and it replaced the eight inch floppy disks that were present in the 60s and it, at optimal configuration it had a capacity of 1.2 megabytes of data and it was about the size of your hand and had a uh, soft plastic jacket to protect the disc and the disc was semi-magnetic and it would be pushed into a slot in the side of the computer. Based on the earlier measurements we took of that file, the rich text format file, we can say that a five and one quarter inch floppy disc could hold 133 A4 pages filled with text. The floppy disk is storing data that would take much more space if it was printed. So this is an incredible achievement. If you actually hold 133 pages, A4, it's many times the size of a floppy disk. Even the 8 inch disk it would be uh, dwarfed by this size of printed paper. This is a 3.5 inch floppy disk. It's very much like the 5.25 inch floppy disk but it's smaller and it holds slightly more data and it has a spring-loaded metal sheath to cover the reading disk area which is red on both sides. The smaller 3.5 inch floppy disk was able to store an equivalent to 160 A4 pages filled with text which is impressive considering how small it is compared to the number of pages if you were to hold them next to the disk. More recently, the SD card was introduced to the market. It's not uncommon for today's SD cards to reach 32 gigabytes in memory size. They're about the size of a coin in dimension and they're much smaller than the floppy disks were. These solid state cards have new, no moving parts and they work by trapping electrical charges in circuits to represent gates and logical patterns that represent memory. One 32 gigabyte SD card is an equivalent to 22,222 floppy disks, which is incredible considering that it's so tiny. It's barely bigger than a typical coin. It can store more than 3.5 million A4 pages of text. That is more than 7,500 page packets of paper that is astonishing to think that these tiny devices are storing so much incredible data. 
there are now flash drives and hard disks that store more than one terabyte of data. That is a thousand gigabytes. They are more than 30 times better at storing data than the previous generation of hard disks and devices and there's no sign of them slowing down. I could show you visually with paper how much memory that is but then I'd have to give you an aspirin to give you to take away the headache afterwards. It's very hard to get your mind around how much data is stored in these tiny little devices. Not much bigger than the books some of them. Some of them the size of coins.